On today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to get that really heavy hit that the golf pros all have. You're learning the over-the-top miracle swing on the Miracle Swing Experience. I'm so happy, guys, that the weather's starting to get better. I'm out here working on my game. I am looking to play the best golf of my life. Yep, this is going to be a really good year. So here I have a pitching wedge. I'm just tossing some balls out there. But listen to this shot. Can you hear that compression? That's a feeling of really covering the ball. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. So now I've moved up to an 8 iron. Going to hit some shots out there. Uh, I'm always working today on kind of a straight ball to fade. And you can see that I have that familiar over-the-top swing pattern that I believe so strongly in. Yep, so the inside and overhand path has made it possible for me to really start to play the best golf of my life. I'm much more consistent. I compress the ball better. And it just allows me to wind up the way that the the old timers used to like Sam Snead and Bobby Jones. It's a much easier way to play golf. I want to bring some sanity back to the game of golf, especially when it comes to instruction, because I just think it's gotten too crazy with the, you know, too much track man, too much force, force plates, V1, spiral lines, everything else. It's like, just take the club up to the inside, take it over and hit down on it. So here from this angle, you can see this really heavy hit that I'm just dropping the club on the ball. So this does have a feel component to it. So from the front, try and take a look at this. See how I kind of get left and hit down? Now this next swing, I'm gonna move my hands too fast. You see how I get my hands going and I, I you have to kind of wait on it see that's what the old timers used to call the delayed hit that was taught to me by Roger Dunn that's got that heavy looking sound and feel raise the club up high feel the weight and above all you don't want to rush Just make a smooth transition and you can get down and really go get that golf ball. Now let's take a closer look. So guys, there is no better feeling in golf than this feeling of heavy compression that goes up through the shaft. It is the holy grail of hitting a solid golf ball. It feels so good. So when we take a look at this one, you may recall I recently made a video with Calvin Pete, and I was talking about his aggressive lateral move. And, you know, I've been through periods of staying totally centered, which you can play golf so many different ways. But I'm going to show you something that is a lot of fun that I want you to play around with. And it has to do with thoracic extension and flexion. Okay, so I'm going to arch my back here as I make my lateral move. This is something I observed in Sam Sneed, where you'll see it looks like my upper back is leaning towards the target. Okay, I'm trying to point my chest up at the sky, and it's almost like I'm making a little back bend. This is something new that you don't normally see in my golf swing, but I'm reaching my hands inside and up, total miracle swing method. I'm getting my hands high and actually allowing my back to arch slightly. And this is going to allow my spine engine to really get cranked as I go down and get this ball. Now as my chest is pressed down, I'm ready to smash. Now watch this divot. Like that is just, you know, just beautiful compression. Now, the next thing I want to talk about 
is the delayed hit. Right through here, I have to be patient. If I let my hands race ahead of me or get the club head moving too quickly, I'm going to lose that feeling of a delayed hit. And this is also lag. Okay, I've got nice lag on this club head. And you can just see that I'm just covering the ball with my chest. So I'm taking it inside and up. I'm getting left. I'm being patient in the transition. And I'm feeling the weight of that club head go down and smash through that ball. Now I'll tell you, this 7 iron, I was just having so much fun hitting it. I put three strips of lead tape on the back of it to accentuate this feeling. So that's that's what I'm playing around with in my golf swing, guys. I'd love for you to experiment with the heavy hit. I think it's a, a really great addition to your over-the-top miracle swing. If you'd like to learn more about the over-the-top miracle swing, go to MiracleSwingExperience.com. And if you'd like to come out to learn from me the over-the-top miracle swing, come to the next Miracle Swing Experience. It's the weekend of May 27th and 28th. And until next time, I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Mourinho, ear, nose, and throat doctor in San Jose. He's 85 and look at his swing. <laughs> the fastest way to better golf is simply to learn to swing over the top the correct way. The over the top move has been around forever. Like Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and even Ben Hogan, you'll notice they had a little over the top move. Just listen to what my students have to say about the over the top miracle swing. I'm feeling elated. Thank you. Dude, I love it. <laughs> what club is this? <laughs> I've received messages from golfers all around the world that my over-the-top swing is truly a miracle. Yeah, I shot a 72 with Balboa, and it was easy. Now's your chance to learn the over-the-top miracle swing only at MiracleSwingExperience.com. Look at that.